I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak Chopra. Brought to you today from Deepak Home Base in uh, New York City. And my very special guest today is Linda Rottenberg. She's the co-founder and CEO of Endeavor. This is her new book, Crazy is a Compliment. The power of zigging when everyone else zags. Uh, Linda is the co-founder, I said, and CEO of Endeavor. But she's been named uh, uh, one of America's top leaders by US News and World Report. And uh, believe it or not, one of 100 <laughs> innovators for the 21st century by Time Magazine. And the world's mentor capitalist by Tom Friedman. I'm feeling nervous now. Interviewing <laughs> you. She lives in Brooklyn with her husband, uh, author Bruce Filer, and their twin daughters, who are about nine years old now. And uh, first of all, thanks for coming here. Wonderful to be here. So I always like our audience to know a little bit about your background. Where did mm -hmm. you grow up? Uh, I know you went to Harvard and Yale, but just <laughs> let's get the backstory a little bit. Yeah, I grew up in Newton, Massachusetts, so just outside of Boston. I my, spent 23 years there. Oh, you yeah, did. Well, my parents, it's a wonderful place to grow up. Yes. And I grew up, my parents were high school sweethearts who had met at a dance in Rhode Island when they were 14 and 16. And they prized education <clears throat> and they were incredibly loving and incredibly risk averse. So, as I said, so my parents just assumed that I was going to then go off to law school. And I called them up and said, you know what, I think I need a year to figure out what, what I'm going to do. And I had this pen pal in Uruguay and I went to stay on her couch and then went to Argentina and started appropriately getting, dancing with the foot, dancing tango, but also watching the football, the soccer matches as we're here in the World Cup. And I just fell in love with the passion of the place and uh, I kept extending my stay. My parents were getting what very nervous. What year was this? This was in now 1993. I had graduated from law school. Wasn't Argentina going through a depressive phase that was on then? It was coming back. It had okay. had the military repression. And so I was with all these young people that were optimistic about its future. And I'd, I'd gone to college when the Berlin Wall came down sure. and wanted to be part of something that felt big. And yet also, everyone wanted a government job. And this was totally confusing to me. Because now, it's now 1994 and 1995, and back home you're hearing about Netscape and Yahoo, and everybody wants to be an entrepreneur, and they wanted to work for the government. So I was confused, and I kept telling the story of Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, and people would come up to me, my friends, and say, nice story, doesn't relate to my life. Yeah. No one here is gonna give me money for That's my crazy fair. idea, and I don't even have a garage. Mm -hmm. 